another Tea Party Tuesday, where it may be a Tuesday, but in my world, it's always a tea party. And you guys, we have a very, very special guest today. We have the hipster mermaid, the amazing actress, singer, artist, <laughs> Tracy Hines. Tracy, hey welcome. Guys. Oh, you're too nice. Thank you. Tracy, I, well, obviously, we go back to the Her Universe Fashion Show. Yes. We go back way before that, just from me being a fan of yours on YouTube and all of your work. Oh, my gosh. Stop. And we have mutual <laughs> friends, and I'm so excited to have a tea party with you today. Thank you for having me. I'm excited. Well, and I have to apologize, because Kate Middleton really wanted to meet you. Aww. She is a huge Disney fan, a huge fan of yours, a huge fan of The Little Mermaid, um, but... <laughs> She actually is traveling to New York right now. Oh, um, she stays I, busy. She does. She does. And I think she's actually going to New York Comic Con. Oh, man. I wish I could be there, too. Sounds I, I, fun. I mean, I'm hoping we're going to run into each other. But, you know, she's obviously so popular. So I heard she's going to go undercover in costume at New York Comic Con. Oh. What do you think Kate Middleton's cosplay is going to be? I mean, she'd make a great bell. <gasps> like, right off the bat. Oh, my gosh. She'd Can make the most amazing bell. Yes. Kate. I hope to see you at New York Comic Con as Belle. I'm here for this. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have to say, I'm so honored that you dressed as the Red Queen today. I mean, you know, I had to come in theme. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were thinking myself. alike because I guess you came in theme and I dressed in theme for you. I love it so much. This is our aerial dress at Hot Topic. Perfect. And I, I have to debut something for you because I figured you would appreciate this. You're going to need a dingle hopper because... <gasps> oh, it's so cute. This is her dinner dress. I'm like, can I touch it? Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> so clearly inspired by, which I feel like you're the queen of, just inspired by these awesome characters. So it's available for Halloween. But of course, it's amazing. We need a dingle hopper to go with this. Oh, no. I and don't, I don't have one. I didn't bring mine today. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason I didn't have forks out is because I have a very special treat for us today. I am kind of obsessed with Oreos. Okay. So we have coconut. We have waffles and syrup. Red I velvet, can smell it already. <laughs> um, mocha, and cinnamon cinnamon bun cookie. So I thought we would try it and then you know do a taste test and see which one is our favorite. Okay. So you ready? I'm ready. Okay. I think. For me, I'm all about the frosting. <gasps> yeah. So like like I'll eat the cookie later. I'll just like save them. But this is all I'm here for. <sighs> it's coconut frosting, right? This is delicious. It's good. Okay. Now this one I haven't tried yet either, and. Red velvet. It's red velvet. This is my favorite so far. I just went there. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Let's do cinnamon cookie. Or cinnamon This bun. one? Yes. This is cinnamon bun. But they call it cinnamon cookie, but... <laughs> oh. If you're into cinnamon, you'll like this. These are the new Dunkin' Donuts mocha ones. Oh dear. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now Tracy, we need to get down to business. We are clearly cut from the same cloth. You love Disney. You love all of the same characters that I love. Yes. Um, but how did you transform your passion for Disney into a career? I've always kind of focused on music primarily. Um, and as I sort of got older, I didn't know how to do it. Um, I didn't really know how to get signed to a label. I didn't know how to sort of pursue music in the traditional sense. And my dad was kind of like, hey, here's a laptop, make YouTube videos. So um, I started singing some Disney songs, some of my favorites, and then I just sort of found my niche. You know, it was kind of like I fell into it. I didn't really, you know, go after doing Disney all the time specifically, even though I loved it. Um, and I've always been a super fan of Disney, but I just kind of, I don't know, something about the Disney videos just kind of did better than a lot of the other stuff that I was doing. You just are so inspiring between songwriting and voiceover. A lot of people don't realize that you do a lot of voiceover. Um, what advice do you have for somebody to get in this industry? If there's, a, if there's not a door that's opening, maybe that's not a no. Maybe there's a window, you know, because goodness knows I've pried open windows to do what I love. Um, I've had more doors slam in my face 
uh, f for music and for pursuing for auditions. You know, I used to, I tried to do the sort of uh, typical yeah. way of getting work and going about being in the industry. And for me, I was, I didn't fit. I didn't fit in any of the boxes, you know? And that's, I think that's a really good thing because I found, you know, a way to do what I love and I have no limitations now. <laughs> and then finally, Adorkable. You have, you're a business owner. You started yes. your own business. Yes. Like, here it is. Yes, yes, you're wearing <laughs> one of your own tops. I mean, was that intimidating? I, I know, uh, you know, starting a company, it's it's terrifying. It is. But, um, <laughs> but, you know, what advice do you have for somebody that is looking to start their own business? Oh my gosh, and I feel like, I'm so much more of an artist than than like a business person, you know, and I'm very grateful to have um, my husband helps me out a lot with Adorkable. We've got a small team and like praise the Lord for them because it's I would just be only creating and not focusing on the business side. So like they're amazing. Um, back when I wanted to sort of do artist merch to fund some of these music videos yeah. and you know because it's you know you got to sort of save up sometimes I wanted to release shirts just that you know to sell at shows on on my website and my brother um, kind of came alongside to help uh, and he worked for a brand and kind of helped show me the ropes of graphic design and awesome. how to kind of get into doing t-shirts and stuff and so we did a couple t-shirts to start out and he kind of took me aside and was like this is a thing like he's like this should be its own brand like I think you should really kind of think about you know maybe taking this to the next level as its own brand, not necessarily attached to, to your music, because I think that it maybe has what it takes to become its own thing. And I was like, <gasps> really? Like, I don't know, I'm, I'm scared, you know? And he was like, no, trust me, like, do it. And so I did, and, and he was right. You know, I feel like it's been amazing just seeing people all over the world, like wearing a shirt that I designed, you know? And it, it just, I do, I run up to people at Disneyland. I'll, oh people wear the mermaid shirts at Disneyland a lot. And I'll literally <laughs> run up and be like, can I take your picture? <laughs> you look so cute. Can I take your picture? Yeah, so I get really, really excited. That is awesome. Well, if you can dream it, you can do it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, Tracy, since it's your unbirthday, I have to tell you, we have an unbirthday gift oh for my everyone that comes to our tea party. It's so cute. So, um, <laughs> we have an accessory to go with the uh, Ariel dinner uh, dress for Halloween. So cute. So it's not a dingle hopper. Oh, I was like, <laughs> like it's, 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 it's not a dingle oh, hopper. Oh, it's so cute. But oh, oh, it's substantial. Oh, yes. That's beautiful. So oh it's our gosh. aerial brush. That's, I wish I could brush my hair right now, but I can't. Thank you. It's so <laughs> You're gorgeous. Welcome. You're welcome. I have a mermaid bathroom. I literally have an aerial themed bathroom. Oh my goodness. And so I'll keep this in. I don't even want to use it. It's too pretty. <laughs> I know. I just want to look at it. I want to hang it up on the wall. Our Thank friends you. at Loungefly made those brushes. I have an They're Alice the one. They are totally the best. Thank you. Okay, so Tracy, in honor of you being our tea party guest today, we have a special promo for our tea party guests at home. And all you have to do at checkout is enter the code word mermaid. And Perfect. Our special guest. Yes. <laughs> and you will get $25 off an order of $75 or more. Now, Tracy, um, I have one more question for you. Okay. So I ask every single guest this question that comes to our tea party. Okay. And my favorite Alice in Wonderland quote is, why sometimes I've believed in as many as six impossible things before breakfast. So what's one impossible thing you are believing in today? I guess my one impossible thing is that everything is possible. I don't know. I know it might, I be, it might it. sound like a cop out, but truly, I think, you know, everything is possible and you're the only one that's going to get in your own way. So don't get in your own way. Oh my gosh, Tracy. <laughs> I love it. Cheers to that. Yes. Cheers to that and cheers to you. Thank you for being our amazing tea party guest. Cheers to you. Thank oh, you for having me. <laughs> Thank you. And continue to stay curious. And I hope you all have a curious day. Bye. Bye.